primary purpose of the mobile facilities. Volume that is Volume 3 of the IAMS R manual is to assist vessels and aircraft in the performance of a search, rescue, or on-scene coordinator function and with aspects of search and rescue, SAR, that pertain to their own emergencies. It is intended to be carried on board rescue units, aircraft, and vessels. New edition is published every three years. The manual is published jointly by the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, and the International Maritime Organization, IMO. Content of IAMS are Volume 3. Forward. Abbreviations and Acronyms. Glossary. Section 1. Overview of the SAR system. Section 2. Distress alerts and messages. Section 3. Medical assistance. Section 4. Vessel emergencies at sea. Section 5. Aircraft emergencies. Section 6. Initial action by assisting vessels. Section 7, Initial Action by Assisting Aircraft. Section 8, On-Scene Communications. Section 9, On-Scene Coordinator. Section 10, Multiple Aircraft SAR Operations. Section 11, Aircraft Coordinator. Section 12, Searching. Section 13, Rescue Action Plan. Section 14, Rescue or Assistance by Vessels. Section 15, Rescue or Assistance by Aircraft. Section 16, Vessel to Helicopter Operations. Section 17, Underwater Search and Rescue. Section 18, Rescue on Land. Section 19, Intercepts. Section 20, or Survivors. Section 21, Deceased Persons. Section 22, Public Relations. Section 23, Training. Appendix A, Regulation V, 33 of the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, 1974. Appendix B, E, Search Action Message. Appendix C, are factors affecting observer effectiveness. Appendix D, a standard format for search and rescue situation report, CITREP. Appendix E, SAR and debriefing form. Appendix F, SAR operations. Action cards. Responsibilities and obligations to assist. Under long-standing traditions of the sea and various provisions of international law, shipmasters are obligated to assist others in distress at sea whenever they can safely do so. The responsibilities to render assistance to a distressed vessel or aircraft are based on humanitarian considerations and established international practice. Specific obligations can be found in several conventions, including the following. Annex 12 to the Convention on International Civil Aviation. International Convention on Maritime Search and Rescue. Regulation V, 33 of SOLAS 1974. OSC Duties and Responsibilities. The OSC should obtain a search and or rescue action plan from the SMC via the RCC as soon as possible. If a search plan has not been provided by the SMC, the OSC should do the planning until an SMC assumes the search planning function. 1. Provide information to and coordinate operations of all SAR facilities on scene. 2. Modify the plan as the situation on scene. Dictates, keeping the SMC advised, discuss proposed modifications with the SMC when practicable. 3. Coordinate on-scene communications. 4. Monitor the performance of other participating facilities and ensure operations are conducted safely. 5. Make periodic situation reports, SITREPs, to the SMC. The standard CITREP format may be found in Appendix D. The SITREPs should include, but not be limited to, a. Weather and sea conditions. b. The results of search and or rescue action to date. c. Any modifications made or suggested to the action plan. D. Any future plans or recommendations. Maintain a detailed record of the operation. 1. On-scene arrival and departure times of SAR facilities, other vessels, and aircraft engaged in the operation. 2. Areas searched. 3. Track spacing used. 4. Sightings and leads reported. 5. Actions taken. 6. Results obtained.
7. Advise the SMC to release facilities no longer required. 8. Report the number and names of survivors to the SMC. 9. Provide the SMC with the names and designations of facilities with survivors on board. 10. Report which survivors are in each facility. 11. Request additional SMC assistance when necessary, for example, medical evacuation of seriously injured survivors. 12. In case of language difficulties, the International Code of Signals, the IMO Standard Marine Communication Phrases, SMCP, and Standard ECARO Phraseology should be used. 13. On assuming the duty, the OSC should Inform the appropriate RCC, via a CRS or ATS unit as necessary, and keep it informed of developments at regular intervals. Various Search Pattern Expanding Square Search, SS Sector Search, VS Trackline, TS Parallel Search, PS Coordinated Vessel, Aircraft Search Pattern Expanding Square Search, SS most effective when the location of the search object is known within relatively close limits. The commence search point is always the datum position, often appropriate for vessels or small boats to use when searching for persons in the water or other search objects with little or no leeway. Due to the small area involved, this procedure must not be used simultaneously by multiple aircraft at similar altitudes or by multiple vessels. Sector search, used to search a circular area centered on a datum point. Due to the small area involved, this procedure must not be used simultaneously by multiple aircraft at similar altitudes or by multiple vessels. An aircraft and a vessel may be used together to perform independent sector searches of the same area. A suitable marker may be dropped at the datum position and used as a reference or navigational aid marking the center of the pattern. For aircraft, the search pattern radius is usually between 5 nautical mile and 20 nautical mile. For vessels, the search pattern radius is usually between 2 nautical mile and 5 nautical mile, and each turn is 120 degrees, normally turned to starboard. Track line search, TS. Normally used when an aircraft or vessel has disappeared without a trace along a known route. Often used as initial search effort due to ease of planning and implementation. Consists of a rapid and reasonably thorough search along intended route of the distressed craft. Search may be along one side of the track line and return in the opposite direction on the other side, TSR. Search may be along the intended track and once on each side, then search facility continues on its way and does not return, TSN. Track line search, return, TSR. Aircraft are frequently used for TS due to their high speed. Parallel track search, PS. Used to search a large area when survivor location is uncertain. Most effective over water or flat terrain. Usually used when a large search area must be divided into sub-areas for assignment to individual search facilities on scene at the same time. The commence search point is in one corner of the sub-area, one half track space inside the rectangle from each of the two sides forming the corner. Search legs are parallel to each other and to the long sides of the sub-area. Multiple vessels may be used. Advantage of Williamson Turn Makes original track line Active in reduced visibility. It is simple to execute. Disadvantages of Williamson Turn It takes the ship farther away from the scene of the incident. Williamson Turn Procedure Step 1. Rudder hard over, in an immediate action situation, only to the side of the casualty. Step 2. Rudder hard over to the after deviation from the original course by 60 degrees, opposite side. Step 3. When heading 20 degrees short of opposite course, rudder to midship position and ship to be turned to opposite course. Lauren Turn was added to IMSR Manual Volume 3 in the 2019 edition. It is a specific recovery maneuver used in maritime search and rescue operations, designed to efficiently bring a vessel alongside a person in the water. Lauren Turn facilitates launch and recovery of rescue boat. It facilitates rescue work by other craft. Circling calms the sea by interfering with wave patterns.
the more turbulence created by the ship the better. Additional ships circling to windward will calm the sea further. Lauren turn procedure. Head into the wind at full speed. Begin the circle and reduce to slow when the wind is abeam. When the wind crosses the stern to the opposite quarter, increase to half speed. Continuous circling as long as calmer water is needed. Slow down or stop to launch and recover rescue boat on the leeward side, inside the circle.